Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another empties videos. Here we are, we meet again. I always want to make these videos every month, a month and a half or so, two months tops, but we always find ourselves here three to almost four months later and I think that kind of works out for us. So we're just going to do this quarterly. If you like these kind of videos, make sure you give it a thumbs up. There are a ton of empties. I'm going to show you the bin here in a little bit, um, but don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Really quickly, before I forget, I want to shout out my lip combo for the day. Look at how beautiful it is. I'm wearing a pretty high end, um, well for me anyway, Anastasia Beverly Hills lip combo. I'm wearing the lip liner in the shade cool brown. It is so freaking pretty. Let me swatch it for you. I can't put it down and then I also topped it off with the matte uh, lip shade in their line Warm Taupe. I have the lip liner, but honestly, I thought that it would be a little bit too light to pair them together. And so you guys know I love a nude like ombre kind of look totally my go-to so yeah i love this and the formula is really nice i own a couple more shades no you can't really see them there i think that that's them there i have toffee and sugar plum but this one by far my favorite it's comfortable um i think it's super flattering on my lips like it smooths out a lot of the lines that i have um yeah let's just jump into the empties let me see if i can show you just how many empties i have because it's a lot like it's a ton. I think we're going to start off with body care and then just kind of go from there. I'm just going to be picking from the top. I did try a new Dove body wash this, well, I was going to say this month, but no, in the last three months. They came out with like a cherry and chia milk body wash. When I first got this, I was obsessed with it. I will say I'm kind of over it. Like towards the end, I didn't really use it. Like I told Marissa, here you go. <laughs> like I don't really like it. I don't know what it is. I think it's just because like in the bottle it smells so intense. But once it's on your loofah for me personally, I didn't think it packed that much of a punch. It's pleasant. Yes, I love it. But I think I'll stick with the degree tart cherry, which by the way, I went to Walmart the other day and I couldn't find it. So I need to jump on Amazon. I need to jump on Walmart.com stock up because I truly think that tart cherry has been discontinued. Or maybe it's like an online thing. I don't know. Maybe it's just at Walmart. I don't know i have to investigate further but this one is still decent but i definitely won't repurchase i also tried another one of their scents this one was so good they came out with an invigorating one this is aloe and eucalyptus oil 10 out of 10 super hydrating i love the scent very um like spa like clean um it just made me feel good and i love scents that make me feel like that i try to make a shower like a total experience for me and just kind of like romanticize that part of like showering i've always enjoyed showering but little things like this getting a good body wash that lathers really nicely that has a great scent really does it for me i also picked up the antibacterial one i really like this my dog chewed it sorry <laughs> um but yeah i really love this scent as well yeah, they're both really nice and freshy. This one does smell a little bit more medicinal, but don't shy away from it. I know medicinal sometimes can be really herby and earthy and things of that sort, but this one is so good. So I would highly recommend both of these. I will definitely repurchase both. So shout out to Dove. I love Dove. I know that a ton of people are like, oh my God, there's so many harsh things, yada, yada, yada. Honestly, like I get so overstimulated when people are like, no, that's bad for you. That's bad for you. That's bad for you. I feel like at this point, everything causes cancer. Everything is bad for you. So I just kind of like, oh, try to do the best I can. This one's a little bit dusty, you guys, because this one was one of the ones that I lost from the last time. You guys can see the dust there. I'm sorry. Um, I let you guys know in my last empties that I could have sworn I had way more empties that were in the bin. This is one of the ones I found in a random box after that. So this is a sensitive skin one. I always keep this on deck just in case I have an, a reaction, an irritation. My skin just needs a break from like fragrance or anything like that. I will say dub fragrances never irritate my skin. But if I go in with like a new body scrub or a new lotion or something like that, I always keep that as like a safety net in my shower, either that or the bar soap love dove then i guess we'll stick with just shower stuff because i have a ton of a, a ton of stuff um hero body scrub this is my second one and i love it you guys the only thing i wish is that there was more product in here because i go through this so freaking fast i try to use it sparingly but this is so good so i would highly recommend it really really good then i was also pleasantly surprised by this la roche Posay. this is technically like a face wash 
and a body wash i only use it as a body wash and it was so moisturizing especially after using like a really harsh exfoliator this really like nourished my skin and really added that moisture that i need this is the lipicar gentle foaming moisturizing wash and i really wanted to mention something super cool that i read back here sorry i'm telling you some of these are a little bit dusty y'all because they've been in there they've been in the russian for a little bit and like the cabinet and stuff um but this is um where did i find it give me a second mm, oh my god where is it pretty much that is it that this is suitable for oh yeah suitable for patients undergoing chemotherapy and i just thought that that was so cool i've never seen that on a body wash anywhere and so i don't know that really made my heart happy because patients of cancer obviously are already going through so much and so just a little bit of something like this it, it just really made my heart happy so i already love the brand that just made me love the brand even more really love this body wash you can try it as a face wash i can't tell you or attest to that at all but overall so good then um i use one more of my dove body uh washes this is more of like the dove love body um yeah dove body love this is a moisture boost one i really like this but i think i'll stick with the other one that i showed you the like invigorating one this is okay but if i had to pick i'd go with that one over this one and i think this one's a little bit pricey and i don't think that it does anything more than the regular dove body wash so i would definitely stick to that then i also went through a couple shampoos Typically, um, I wouldn't go through shampoo this fast, but I've been trying to wash my hair a lot more these days. It's spring and summer now, and so I sweat a lot more, and I don't really like like all that going on in, on my scalp. Um, so I went through the Hair Food Repair Shampoo. I do like this. I will definitely repurchase. I was pleasantly surprised with the smell. It has some almond oil and shea butter. Typically, shea butter, I can only like deal with it in like low doses if that makes sense like i can't always smell it because it'll give me a little headache it is a little bit intense for me personally but this was a perfect balance of like shea butter and almond oil love this and then i always also went through the love beauty and planet the vegan little mandarin shampoo i actually really enjoyed this i will probably repurchase this um not anytime soon because i have a couple shampoos in rotation right now but pleasantly surprised by this i think i've gone through like the second like one or two bottles of this but typically i like kind of get over shampoo and it takes like it doesn't take much for me to be over a shampoo and so i'm i'm surprised that i liked it that i've liked it for as long as i've liked it if that makes sense i don't know this one was a fail you guys the scent for me i don't like it i don't like it and also, I didn't feel like it lathered as much as like my normal shampoo. I know that that might be because it's like zero of whatever in here. But yeah, we'll definitely re not repurchase. I was going to say repurchase. No, we'll not re be repurchasing. This is a Pure Zero Clean Beauty uh, Biotin Strengthening Shampoo. I didn't like it. I didn't like it at all. At all. Pass. Then, of course, things that are always in here. Honey Pot, you already know. There was way more of these, you guys, but I wasn't going to save them. You guys already know. Honey Pot, please sponsor me. During my um, backup video that I did, I will link it down below where I just kind of went through all the backups that I have. I shared with you guys that I have a ton of like face masks. So I kind of went through a few of them, but not much. Um, I This one, my favorite. I've already repurchased. This is the Dr. Jart Pore Remedy Purifying Mud Mask love this i love the fact that you don't have to get messy or wear put on like with a spatula or anything like that it's just like a sheet one still a mud mask it really cleanses out your pores a little bit on the pricier side for a sheet mask but i would highly recommend it and then i also love the also from dr jart but this is the um barrier the facial barrier mask this is super hydrating and i will definitely repurchase this when it's on sale i don't necessarily need it and i also have a ton of other face masks so it'll be a while before i buy this but we'll definitely repurchase this is also another repurchase by vitamask this is a hydrate um the hydrating mask by um I literally just said Vitamass, but this is a hyaluronic cactus. I really enjoy this. This is actually, I think, like my second or third one. I have a few other Vitamass that I love. There's a peach one. That's a collagen one, I think. And then there's a watermelon one that I haven't tried. So I will keep you guys posted. Overall, Vitamask is a brand that I love for sheet masks. Then I also went through a couple Patchology little under eye patches i have a ton of these i think i only have like six left but i had quite a bit um this is so good like i love these right before makeup 
um i kind of save them for like special occasions but they're really good and also you guys what's really interesting um i think it's right here i saved it in like this little bit of sharpener just because i thought it was really cool um this little pamphlet came inside the little box of the patchology and all these are instructions in different languages and i just thought that it'd be really cool to like keep and maybe learn how to say a few words in different languages out of all the 17 i only know two english and spanish and so yeah there's like french italian japanese um other languages that i can't even pronounce but i thought that it would kind of help me like comparing how i would say a word in english or in spanish as opposed to like in french or whatever so i'm gonna study this you guys and hopefully i can learn a few words in another language you know and this is just saying how to use the little eye patches but still i thought it was really freaking cool 17 languages that's a lot so shout out to um patchology then a few skincare products i went through another one of my holy grail first aid beauty cleansers there's already a backup in there and that is my last backup i think it'll last me until the next sephora sell um so i think we're good there but this is holy grail you guys already know i've gone through so many of these and will continue to repurchase them time and time again my skin never gets tired of it it always i mean i have other cleansers in rotation i'm just kind of tossing things on my bed you guys because i don't want to make like noise on the floor then i also went through these neutrogena acne patches i will say nothing really works like the hero ones they have the same ingredient like that hot the, like the what is it called hydrocolite or something but i don't know they never work the same as like the hero ones i'm gonna stick to the hero ones then earlier when i mentioned that i like with the yeah i'm all over the place <laughs> earlier when i mentioned that this helps when i need a lot of moisture this necessary body scrub so good but also so intense so please please if you never exfoliate do not try this because it is so intense but so good like it's so good my body i think is already used to like exfoliating regularly so this was you know a good like deep 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 exfoliation however don't if you have super 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 sensitive skin which i do um tread lightly please besides that 10 out of 10 this is a 12 dollar bar you can get at sephora so freaking good but please please make sure you moisturize after i put on that body wash after and then i also lathered with like a body serum and body lotion because if i didn't like once one day i forgot and my skin was kind of flaky and i kind of freaked out but it was all good i just put some aquaphor and some like vaseline and that like nourished my skin like that same day but it is really intense so please please tread lightly then i also went through a few hair masks here brio geo is one of my favorite brands you guys and i had a few gift sets that i got during the holidays and other few samples so your girl went through them the brio geo the scalp relief the mask i don't really like it like it's okay i used it up but this is not my favorite i feel like i wasn't aware that there was a mask and a scrub and so i feel like one time i accidentally grabbed this and i was just like i don't like the scrub but then i got the scrub which is a little mini i have here and this is so good so i would highly recommend the scrub it lathers really nicely but also like cleanses your scalp and then my all-time favorite i think i have a tub in here yes i do i love this line this is the Brio Geo Avocado Kiwi Moisture Hair Mask. I went through two of these. There's a little bit of products in here. I think I can squeeze it out. Maybe, maybe not. But went through two of these. And then, of course, I went through the big one as well. Sorry about the little lint, you guys. I have pets and they have been sitting there for a while. And, like, they kind of move around. Like, sometimes when I clean the cabinet, I leave them out. Or they just kind of travel around in this little bin but anyway i went through the big tub i love this the scent is probably the best part i mean i love what it does and like it hydrates i already have another one you guys saw in my sephora earlier this year that i bought two kits i'm almost halfway done with one of the leave-ins i will say it's a little bit intense so be careful with how much product you wear and uh put on your hair because it will it will weigh it down so good another favorite that i discovered was this necessary body serum i need to repurchase this you guys i think this was like a point perk for me and so i just tried it on a whim and i absolutely love it it lasted a lot longer than i thought this little one ounce bottle would and i need it in my life it's so freaking good i recently got the body cream and so i'm hoping that i love it just as much as i love the serum but typically i'm not a big serum girl but that 
I think changed my mind about body serums and I love it. It's so freaking good. A couple Dermalogica products here. You guys see these all the time. Um, I have one new products by them. This pre-cleanse one is not an empty because I don't like it. Like it didn't take off my makeup at all. I don't enjoy it. There's a ton of other products by Dermalogica that I swear by. This is not one of them. Again, try it. I would pick a mini up because mm, I can't. One of my favorites though, and one that you will always see in empties, and I already have a backup and I'm already kind of using it, but this is a Dermalogica Daily Micro Exfoliant. So freaking good. I love it. Sorry again, the lint. Um, but this is so freaking good, you guys. I have gone through so many of these little ones. So many. Sometimes I want to buy the full size, but then I'm like, no, I just love the mini. You know, if I ever go out of town, I can just toss it in my purse. Such a good size. In that little discovery set where I got all of these, because they have a little $40 kit, I think on Sephora and Ulta, and of course on their site, this little one ounce of their skin smoothing cream. Oh my God, this is so freaking good. Like, so good, you guys. Like, I am so picky with lotions, especially now when it's getting warmer out. I have to make sure I wake up extra early to do my skincare because if not, I will literally sweat. If I put it down my neck, my neck will start sweating. It, it'll just be a nasty, goopy mess. This sinks into the skin so freaking fast. The only downside is, is that it is very, very, very expensive. I fumbled and didn't buy it when uh, Ulta had their 21 days of beauty and it was half off. And then it came back again at the end because they did kind of like a surprise half off on a ton of different products. And this one was half off again. I could have sworn, I could have freaking bet my life on it that I put it in the cart and then the order got here and I was like, wait, where's the, where's the Dermalogica? I never ordered it. So I feel like it went out of stock while in the midst of adding stuff to the cart that like I just lost out on it. And so I'm hoping that it goes on sale maybe for like another 21 days of Ulta or something like that. If not, I'll have to wait until November for the 20% off or they have um, sales on their site. Um, but yeah, this one's so good. You guys try it, grab a little sample of it. It is so freaking good. And I rarely say that specifically about creams, like especially thick creams. I like the first aid beauty one. I've mentioned to you guys before that that one, I love it for nighttime. But if it's during the day, I literally have to put it on about like five to five hours before I go outside because it will make me sweat and like feel sticky and like I love it but it's just too like I, I can't like if you know if you're like a face sweater you know and I don't normally sweat on my neck but if I ever over moisturize or don't let it sink in it like enough it'll be a nasty mess and I just I hate that another favorite this is a gold bond neck and chest firming cream I really enjoyed this this is also one that I had to give a little extra time excuse me to um i thought i was gonna sneeze oh i have like that tickle up here in my nose um yeah i have to give it a little extra time to sink in but i don't mind i will say i wish i was more consistent with it like i just kind of put it on here put it on there put it on in the morning put it on for like three days straight and then like not a week so i want to see if i see any difference with using this one um because it's obviously a little bit more affordable than like any other lotion that i have i went through another one of my favorites this is a tula skin spf so good i love this i need to repurchase this it's a little bit on the pricey side but it's a must have there's spf in it we're nearing the end here you guys i have a couple more skincare products and then body care at the end um i finished an unseen screen by super goop love this so good and then i also finished another mini of my i think this is actually like a sample of my polish choice this reminds me that i have to repurchase this but there is one that i want to try from target by hero cosmetics it's like the same percentage of salicylic acid so i might try that before i pick this one up but still 10 out of 10 polish choice you guys know i rave about that it's so freaking good helps with so much texture then um two scalp favorites here this is a curls blueberry and mint scalp treatment this is so good i am going to keep this bottle because i want to make rosemary water oil is it oil no rosemary water and so i want to put it in here to really put it in my scalp i really enjoyed this you guys the scent is pretty pleasant for me personally i know that i shared with you guys in the last empties that i did not like the shampoo like it smelled rancid that i didn't that was not my experience with this i've already repurchased it and been using another one this is so freaking good in my scalp really feels like revitalized and refreshed every time i use this i know that it's a mint in there i really enjoy it another scalp favorite i've been really trying to focus on like my scalp health 
I've never in life been so focused on like my scalp health, which I don't know why. I usually focus on like the ends on like what's dry and things like that. But it's just like, bro, like hair comes out of here. Why wouldn't I take care of that? I don't know. I feel like we're all kind of discovering that at the same time. So anyway, this is a PT. Is it PTH? Um, scrub. I'm a scalp little rinse. This is so good. I definitely need to repurchase this. I think this is like 16 bucks. I bought it at Target on a whim. I've seen it at Walmart as well. So if you're in Walmart, if you're in Target, check it out. I love these little things. Again, it gives you like the, the that revitalizing kind of like your scalp took a breath mint kind of sensation. And I personally am a big fan of that. Like I just feel so alive, you know, I don't know. I enjoy that. Then I also went through one of my favorites. This is also one from the last time that should have been in my last empties. As you can see, it's a little crusty, but this is the Tree Hut Coconut Lime Shave Oil. I really enjoy this. I want them to come out with an unscented version. Like I like this one and I the other scents are okay, but if it was unscented, I don't know, I feel like it would be better or maybe just like different scents. Maybe do like a vitamin C one because I love the vitamin C like scent or like the mango one, that would be great. But this one's okay. I will definitely repurchase this. Maybe when I remember being in Target because I always forget and then they're also always sold out. So keep an eye out for that if you're looking for a shave oil, 10 out of 10. Another one of my favorites, the, uh, <laughs> I have so many favorites here, you guys. This is the Ulta, Ulta. It's the Ultra Repair Cream by First Aid Beauty. You guys know how I feel about this. I already have like the big giant squeeze bottle. I already have a dent in it. I love this stuff. I swear by it, it's super hydrating. Again, if you don't like that goopy feeling, try it on at night. Um, I can wear this on my face and on my body, so I love that. It is a little bit on the pricier side, but you can know, I always find like gift sets during the holidays or like sales during the holiday as well. Um, highly recommend that. I did wanna give a special shout out to my aloe because I've been really trying to incorporate aloe. I'm trying to figure out like this whole thing with my gut it's like weird like some days it'll i'll feel bloated some days i don't some days i feel a little bit uneasy in my stomach i don't know i'm trying to figure it out but i will say what i know for sure is that the days that i consistently drink aloe and literally i just fill up the cap and drink it like twice a day i know on here it says that like a serving is like eight ounces but i don't ever really drink eight ounces of it and i do notice a difference especially with like heartburn i've never experienced heartburn as much as i do now and so this really really helps and it's not the best honestly you can mix it in with water or like juice or your smoothie or whatever but i personally just like take it take it like a shot and then like chase it with water very rarely do i mix it in with juice just because i feel like that kind of defeats the healthy purposes i don't know i feel like it dilutes the benefits i don't know if maybe that's just me in my head but um yeah this is good i get i get it at my local grocery store that just says lone star aloe made in texas but yeah check out aloe vera has really good health benefits um and then another fell i love dry bar i love like their um prep and rally spray this three in one finishing spray for some reason i can't get into it this is damn near full and i feel bad that i have to throw it away just because it's a pricey product but i just don't like it i also don't like the scent it's in the scent lush lush scent I don't like it either. I know that they have like a papaya, no, or like a co pina colada or something like that, but I don't like it. But you guys, we have reached the end. That is it. This little empties bin is completely empty. I did this under 25 minutes. I am so pumped. Again, don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Give this video a big thumbs up. Um, check out any of these products. Um, I will try, 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 no promises to leave them, like the names of them down in the description bar, but there is probably over 40 products I spoke about um so it's a lot you guys but anyway i will see you guys in my next one thank you so much for watching bye